My name is Rob Legato, and I got started, actually, I studied cinematography in school, and I wanted to be a cinematographer, director, and, and do all that sort of stuff, so I didn't, wasn't in visual effects at all. And back back then, this is a little while, a long time ago, um, there was a, a commercial that had an effect in it that there, was ne there weren't people like me around that you could call to your set. So it was something that I just had to think or figure out on my own, so I did, and I wanted to try it, and it, and it happened to work. And so someone said, well, you should do this, you know, um, at, a, at a company that does a lot of that. So I worked at a place called Bob Abel and Associates, and I was producing, because I knew live action stuff, and they didn't really know live action stuff very well. So I was producing that, that material, and discovered that the people who were supposed to really know how to do this didn't seem to really know how to do it. And it's like, well, why don't you just grab a camera and go shoot this? I mean, wh why wouldn't that work? And so I said, let me show you. I'll grab a camera and I go, sh and it did, and that worked. And they went, you should do it. It's like, well, I was just showing you. I wasn't, I, you know, I was producing it. You're supposed to do it. Well, why don't you do it? It's like, well, I, all right. And so then you do it, and then somebody else, while you're in the process of doing that, says, can you figure out this? It's like, I don't know. Sure, I guess, and, and then all of a sudden you start you, you, you're doing that, and, uh, and then I my first film was *Interview with the Vampire*, and I was the second unit director, and I did the effects on it, and then *Apollo 13*, and then *Titanic*, and then then the rest of it. I think how Adobe can help it, for anybody who's trying to do what I do is I I just kind of run my life on the basic thing is not be afraid to fail. Failure is part of what you do, and you need a device to fail offline, so to speak, and that's what you get to do. It's like, I have this great idea, and you do it, and it's not so great. And no one has to know it but you, but you have to try it, and you have to fail at it to even get to the next level. And, but if you never, or if you're too afraid to fail and never try to offer up something that's unique or different, or why they hired you as opposed to somebody else, you'll never succeed either. So tools, you need tools to do that with. You need to be do it offline. There's a, a, a quote of somebody says, you know, how do you sculpt something? How do you know what it is? It's like you chip away everything that's not the sculpture. So yeah, I mean, After Effects is a sculpting tool for me. I, I, I layer my, my sculpture essentially a piece at a time and over time and it creates the the the, the backbone or the or the style of what I'm ultimately going to express or do and have other great professionals come in and help and, and, and augment but but at least it, it is the expression of my idea of how the best tell the story at that particular moment. Yeah another great sculpting tool for me is Cinema 4D that's within After Effects and that's how I learned it is I, I used it I knew that it was capable of doing it and then you start opening it up and saying, well, how do I put a camera and how, and all of a sudden you start to learn and now it's, After Effects was my original sculpting tool, now I could create actually elements that go within that to express my my thoughts and ideas and now have a place to show them. So it, Cinema 4D becomes a great sculpting tool, quite frankly. And you really kind of need to do it yourself. It's really impossible to, like I use the illusion of sculpting. If, you can't tell somebody how to sculpt something. You have to grab the material yourself and move the clay around because that's the that's your language. That's the way you do it. Much like a musician, you have to hit the keys yourself. Otherwise, you can't tell somebody how to do it. You really need to do it yourself. So everybody should do it. I, 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 I find people say, well, I'll get back to you tomorrow when I get somebody to do that. So why don't you just do it right now? If you do it right now, you'll know the answer. Tomorrow is a, is a wasted day, so why don't you do it? It's like, well, I don't know how to do that. It's like, well, it's your job. You should know how to do that. So it's bizarrely unique, and it shouldn't be. It should be, you know, uh, uh, something that you should all do. Everybody should be, a, you know, jack of all trades, because it'll make the one trade that you're particularly good at even that much better because you see what all the other problems are. And so I don't understand why everybody doesn't do it. And now it's, it's you put it on your laptop and you have everything. You have every tool that you possibly need to, to express yourself. Why doesn't everybody do it as a mystery to me.